Hi there, YouTube. As you can see, my green screen is not in use right now because the lighting in here. <coughs> it's kind of late in the evening and it's rather dark. Um, so, yeah. What I want to talk to you about is inspired of an article I just read in the New York Times. I will link to it down here. And to all my American friends, read it and share it. And you can also share this video because sometimes I get the impression that Americans think that this whole social democracy and welfare state thing we have going on here in the Scandinavia, Denmark, Norway, Finland, and Sweden is something that just fell out of the sky into our laps and we are just lucky. That is very far from the truth. The truth is that in the past, the Danes, the Swedes, the Norwegians, and the Finn, they fought for this, and they fought hard. In Denmark, it has been, the fight has been started way back when we got our constitution in 1849, and in the time before that, but the Constitution didn't automatically give us a welfare state, far from it. Even with the Constitution in place, Danish workers and uh, farmhands were still working eight days, uh, seven days a week, 12, 15 hours a day. And they were still not able to feed their kids and have proper clothing and a proper place to live. This all changed or started to change back in 1871. In 1871, the worker unions were starting to get kind of strong with a lot of people getting into the, these unions. And it was very much due to what you today would call socialist people who were very conscious of the inequalities and the hardship of the working force. So in 1871, there was a big protest in a place in Copenhagen called Fellelparken. And at that time, Fellelparken was kind of a, a meadow. There was not much built out there at the time like it is today. Today, Philip Park is part of Copenhagen. And what happened was that a lot of uh, prominent socialists and VIPs within this movement uh, had called people to protest for better work conditions, fewer work hours, things like, you know, vacation and stuff. And the police came and beat the living crap out of the workers. But that day in 1871 was the start of the workers' movement in Denmark. And up through the decades, all the way up to around just after or just before World War II, which came to Denmark in April 9th, 1945. It was a constant fight. The workers were on strike. The workers didn't get paid. The workers' children starved. Yes, they fucking starved. Their wives starved. It was... It was a very hard struggle. It didn't come free. No government, which is, by the way, almost always owned by the rich, and no rich person and no company has ever given the Danish people anything without a fight. We never got to where we are without fighting for it. The problem is that, as I stated in my previous video, that the welfare state is on the downhill and whatnot, is that people have forgotten that we fought for this. 
We fought for this for over a hundred years to get to the point where we were in the 1970s, which was the pinnacle of the welfare state in Denmark. So we fought for a hundred years to get to where we are today. And there are some of us who are still fighting, me included, to upkeep this welfare state because it fucking works. Denmark is a prosperous nation due to the welfare state. And you can read more about it in the article. He points out a few things that makes Denmark a special country compared to the United States. And he also points out why, why this is, why we are a prosperous state and why we are one of the, amongst the happiest nations on the planet. I think you should read that article and take into your brain that we didn't get this for free. It was not free. We fought for it. Our children starved for this. Peace and don't panic.